What's up TYG viewers? We are here at the Blue Beacon Car Wash. This is our very first time to get our motorhome washed here. In fact, before we even got a motorhome, we didn't even know these things really existed. Uh, I guess because we never really came around truck stops or anything like that. Uh, so we didn't even know they were here. But just like everyone else, we're part of forums and Facebook groups and we have seen several people talk about getting their motorhome washed here. We're a little nervous about it because we have not only our motorhome, uh, but we also have our Jeep, which you can see here. Behind us, oop, time to move. But since this is our first time, we really have no idea what to do. So this is really gonna be a first experience. Um, we've looked up prices online and it is surprisingly cheap. So we're really curious to see what kind of job they do. Um, as most of you know, washing a motorhome is a big task. So if they can do a decent job at it, we're happy to put it away clean. So uh, we are on the way back from a trip, so getting it washed before we put it away for a few weeks um, will be awesome for us. And so let's see what happens. As you can see we have a dually in front of us, a uh, car hauler in front of them, there's a trailer RV over there and a bunch of other 18 wheelers so there's really all kinds of kinds here in line um, so it's interesting we're getting close to being a front line Probably very satisfying. What? It's probably my dream job. What? Power washing the trucks? Yeah. What? Power, power washing a house is very satisfying, so it's like, it's gotta be equivalent. You like that immediate satisfaction of the clean truck? Mm hmm. Like you can see the clean from the dirty. It's kind of like painting, you know? They might be hiring. Summer job. You'd be the hottest truck cleaning girl in the business. Yeah, it is pretty hot outside. <laughs> we'll make a little vacuum for you to clean your rig if you're in an 18 wheeler while you're waiting. Well, they just closed the door on that one. I don't know whether it's to like not get overspray onto the next rig over there, the green one, or what. But that's kind of peculiar. have like a roof system that sprays down on the RV from the top that's kind of cool that's how they clean the roof without getting up there they do tell you that they're not going to get up there and brush the roof for safety concerns
So when you pull into this place, when you pull all the way up and they go ahead and start spraying because that's like the minimum you're going to get. Uh, and you go inside and you kind of pick what you want. So I went ahead and got the whole motorhome washed. Uh, I got our tow vehicle washed. Um, no soap because we just got the doors painted. Um, I got the whole motorhome rainxed. I got the wheels treated and the wheels washed. And all of that was only 66 bucks. And we'll be in and out of here in probably 10 minutes. So I would say that is money well spent right there. Is clean. It's really wet. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to road road dryer. It's pretty wet. Well as you can see she's clean. Uh, not really dry. There's not really a good way for them to dry it. But it's probably some of that spot free stuff. And uh, of course just driving down the road's gonna dry it. So we're happy with it. Looks clean. Well, what'd you think? I didn't have to do it, so I'm still gonna have to do the inside. But yeah, but how did it turn out? I mean, the people are gonna wanna know how good it is. Oh, I mean, it's cleaner than what it was. So, you would you do it again? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I mean, pay someone 60 bucks, 70 bucks to do it, or me do it in the heat. And that was a tow car. Yeah, well, I'm gonna pay somebody else. <laughs> Well guys, that was pretty much it. That was our first experience at a Blue Beacon. We're a little nervous, but we're a lot less nervous now. And we will certainly do it again for our motorhome. Completely safe. Um, we witnessed them wash it ourselves by hand. Um, there was no automatic part of it at all. And they did a good job. Um, so now we just need to get on the road so we can start drying it. And that would be good. So we'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye.